In this tutorial, we're going to be painting this beautiful golden retriever in watercolour. The reference photo for this uh, particular painting is from Pixabay and I'll add the link below so that you guys can paint along with me. So I begin by tracing the image out onto my watercolour paper. Here I'm reinforcing the eyes with the pencil just so I've got a nice clear view of what I'm doing. I'm going to begin with a very pale wash of blue and then also a pale wash of brown. Before we continue with the tutorial, I'd like to just give you a little bit of information about my online school and the courses and classes that I have for you. My online portrait course has over 20 hours of in-depth video tutorials. It's organised in two chapters and there are 14 chapters all in all. And each chapter builds upon the skills that you learned in the previous chapter. As you can see, everything is provided for you in the course and there are six full length portraits. As well as that, there are also supporting documents and photo reference for you to download. I've even provided you with a handy guide of how you can turn your art into a business. To find out more, please visit the Maz Art Studio website and go to the online school. You can click the link for online classes and as you can see, I've got plenty of online classes for you to enjoy. Or if you're interested in the course, click the online course where you can learn some more information. Okay, so let's get back into the tutorial. I'm beginning now by adding some very loose washes to the background. Notice how I've actually gone around the ear and left the white of the paper. I'm actually putting a wash on first and then dropping the colours and mixing various tones of greens and oranges and little bits of purple where it's a little bit darker. I'm beginning to add some branches, again keeping these very very loose and here you'll see me taking a paper towel and just removing a little bit of that, um, some light in there just to create some texture in that background. I'm dropping stronger colours now of oranges. Again, just working very, very loosely, putting another layer over them, um, using the hairdryer wherever I, I need to add extra layers. So I'm beginning now again with these tones of very pale brown and some blues, blue greys. Keeping the tones a little bit darker around the ears. I'm working into the eyes now again with the same, same colours, just a little bit stronger mix. Take your time when detailing the eyes. You'll see where I've left a very pale wash of blue where I want the light of the eyes to be. I'm adding darker tones to the ears. Again, I'm following the direction that the hair is growing. Adding those very tiny details around the muzzle. This is just using a very dark black color. And back to the, uh, the pale washes of the browns and gray. I'm using a pinkish tone on the nose just to block in the nose, little bits of purple. Darkening the nostrils with a wash of black. Now I'm using a stronger mixture of black to really strengthen the nostrils. Adding those tiny little hairs around the muzzle. Thank you. 
I'm switching to a black coloured pencil so that I'm able to detail around the eyes and also a white, I'm intermixing between a white and a black pencil. Now I'm switching to white watercolour ink and this is so that I'm able now to start adding some brighter, lighter hair strokes. Again, always following the direction of the hair growth. This ink is very opaque, so it's easily covering over some of the, the darker tones. Here you can see I'm really detailing around the eyes really able to get some lovely hair strokes around those eyes. We can also add those brighter sparkles in the eye as well. Really making those eyes shine. I'll detail the products that I have used in the description below. Here you can see me pulling those little strokes now over the collar, really sort of adding that thicker, chunkier, textured hair. You will need to keep applying the paint regularly, or keep reloading regularly. I'm strengthening up the colours on the nose using a more a purplish tone, very lightly going over everything, more of a glaze so that I don't lose the detail that I've already put underneath. Again I'm putting another glaze now over the muzzle, this is just a very light wash um, of black over the colours already, so again you can see I'm not actually losing any of the detail so do be careful when you're doing these, uh, these final glazes. As I'm coming towards the end of the portrait now I'm really focusing on those tiny little hair details. Adding extra washes where needed. I'm strengthening up the lights with another layer of that uh, white um, watercolour ink. I will often dry between the layers as well so that I can continually keep adding those extra layers.
and back to that white now for those very tiny little hairs around the muzzle. This portrait took me about four hours to complete. So of course you're only seeing this snapshot. Um, but again, just remember to keep adding those extra layers and extra glazes. I'm applying some clear water over the background and then into that I'm going to be dropping in some colour. Again I'll put a link in the description below to the, um, the colours that I've been using but this is like a yellow. So this is the yellow ink and I'll also be doing um, a really strong orange ink as well. This is just to reinforce that those lovely autumn colours in that background. I'm tapping these colours on just to keep the effect that this is autumn leaves. And I'm dipping straight into the, uh, the watercolour ink and using this paint quite neat. It's a very, very strong colour and it really has a lovely effect to that background. So here is the finished painting. I really do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will put a link below um, for the reference photo that I have used for this uh, particular painting, which has come from Pixabay. So I'll link that below in case you want to have a go and paint along with me. If you do decide to have a go, I do have a group on Facebook called the Maz Art Group, where you can share your versions and I can have a look what you guys have been up to. Thanks for watching.